Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer, and this is my beautiful co host, Jasmine. You can just see a little bit of, hey, baby, you got a tail wag. You got a tail wag, Taurus. Yeah, who's a good girl? She's a little cold right now. Shouldn't have a lot of body fat, and it's a little cold outside. Okay, it's a lot cold outside. And I've got the heat cranked up and it's making my throat really dry. So, um, I've been like eating cough drops, like throat lozenges from doTERRA and drinking a lot of water, all good stuff, but yeah. So I had to go get a humidifier and put it in my office because I got the heat up so high, but the cats are enjoying it. Because all the stray cats that I feed, I hijacked them in the neighborhood and brought them in. Um, I just don't want them to be too cold. But it's marginally warmer today. So, um, I opened up the cat door and they're sort of going back and forth. But I'll lure them back in tonight with food and um, lock them in again in the heat. I know. Oh my gosh, that's who I'm becoming. All right, Taurus, this is a reading for the first week in 2023. This is a reading for the first week of January, January 2nd. So this is going to be fantastic. It truly is. And um, because this, this is the first reading, the first reading for the full week of January uh, of 2023. I'll get this out in a minute. Um, I'm going to do a life purpose spread today. So it's a very simple um, spread, but I really like it. It's, it's one of my favorites. I like this. So um, we're going to take a look at that today and uh, just see where it takes us. All right, Taurus, this is a general reading. So if it resonates with you, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign because sometimes you will resonate more with your moon or your rising sign. Um, you know, unless it's Taurus as well. <laughs> um, but sometimes you'll resonate more with that and that's okay. It just depends on the placements in your chart. So let's see what we got for you. Okay, Taurus. And... See what the life purpose spread brings to you. And oh my gosh, look at what I got for Christmas. Isn't she beautiful? It's a little dragonfly. Um, and it has, I think her wings are made of black kyanite. They're so beautiful. They're so iridescent. She's just so lovely. So before she becomes a part of my permanent collection on my little altar right here, she is, um, she's, sitting right in front of me so I can see her a lot. So exciting. Okay. All right, Taurus. Let's see what this life spread brings to you. This life purpose spread. And the life purpose, our life purpose can change as we grow, as we develop, as we evolve spiritually. So it usually is the same general field, but maybe it gets more narrow. But still, this is a general, this is a general one. Oh, goodness. Okay. Very interesting spread here. Okay, Taurus. So, um, this is... Uh, the first the first card is the empress and this is what you've learned in the past the second card is the tower and it is not the boogeyman of the tarot like i had thought before like most of my career here i thought the the tower was the boogeyman of the tarot but i know it's not now yeah um okay so the tower um is what you are currently learning very interesting um, then we have the full, which is the steps that you need to take right now. Then we have the three of swords, which is, this is how you can help others. And the page of swords, which is your life's purpose. Okay. So the Empress, the Empress is just so wonderful because she is, um, the, 
the abundance, things coming to fruition. And I think that this is really what you've learned is when you put your mind to it, when you put your energy in it and you manifest and you do the work, it does come into you. That abundance, that uh, the fruit of your labor comes in. Um, the thing is, though, we have to return. We return to the things that we've learned over and over and over again. Sometimes it's, you know, an easier lesson because we've already learned this and we come back and we're like, OK, yeah, I know I have to put the energy in and manifest it. The other thing that I want to tell you about this card is that when we bring in things, when we're like um when things are, are coming to fruition and there's a lot of abundance around us, it can be scary. I know everybody's just like, what are you talking about? Why would that be scary? It can be scary, especially if we're not used to juggling it. So sometimes we will sit here for a little while, you know, and sometimes we have to go back to this and say, Hey, um, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Part of the reason why I say that is because of this next card, which is what you are currently learning, the tower. The tower. Sometimes things have to be torn down in order to be rebuilt. Sometimes we just have to level it out at ground zero in order to rebuild it. The last time I pulled this card for a person, for an individual, it was actually she, it was someone that had cancer. And she had finally just gotten to the point where she was like, okay, I don't know what else to do. So she started like everything that she possibly could think of. She started a different diet, not a vegan diet, but somewhere close to it, like a modified vegetarian diet. Um, she started doing different kinds of exercises, not not like aerobic or anything, not with weights, but she started moving in a different direction. She needed to tear down everything that she had been doing in her life up until that point in order to rebuild the life that she wanted. That's what I keep seeing here. And that's what you're learning now is you're learning how to tear down something, whether this is a business, a relationship, your health, your finances, whatever it is, you're learning how that it needs to be rebuilt. It needs to have a different foundation because the foundation that it was built on is deteriorating. I know it's not easy. It's not easy because I've experienced this myself, but this is what you're currently learning. The steps that you need to take right now is to have faith. The steps you need to take right now is a leap of faith. I mean, the full card, she's still anchored here a little bit, right? But she's taking a chance. She's taking a leap of faith here. And I love that the, like, the flower of life is down here too. Um, but this is, this is so important because you won't get what you want if you don't rebuild it. You won't get what you want if you don't take that leap of faith, if you don't take a chance, if you don't, if you don't have that faith in what you're doing. Take a chance. All right. How you best help others. Now, this sometimes represents like a broken heart. Sometimes this can represent um, like separation with heartache. Not necessarily. This can also represent frustration. Yep. And I mean, because look at her. She looks frustrated, doesn't she? Yeah, that's frustration. That's just like heart wrenching, gut ripping frustration. But I also want you to take a closer look at this picture. Do you see this? The heart is being mended. The heart is being mended. Her frustration is creating these threads that has helped mending the heart. Why? Because she's getting it out. She's not letting it eat up inside of her. So this is what you're showing people is how to get it out and how to heal, how to heal that frustration, how to heal that broken heart, how to work through it by letting it out. I'm going to say letting it out appropriately. I mean, don't do something crazy. Don't, 
let's do this appropriately. Okay. By letting this frustration, by letting this pain, by letting it out appropriately, it creates what we need to heal ourselves. And that's what you're showing people. That's how you best help others. I know there's a couple of Tauruses in my life that I lean on for stuff like this. Sometimes that's all you need is to help is to show someone how to create the threads to help stitch themselves back together. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to have those people around. Um, your life's purpose. The page of swords, the page of swords is a communication card and, um, more importantly, this is a communication with spirit. This is a communication of getting inspiration from spirit, bringing it in and putting it into action. They are literally showing you how you can bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. But you have to listen to what they're giving you. You have to listen to the messages that they're sending you. Sometimes they're sending you messages that are numbers on billboards or numbers on cars or on the the clock or something um numbers are messages of feathers or money that you find in really random places spirit is always sending us messages always embrace this look for the messages that spirit is sending you look for the messages that spirit is sending you channel it in and apply it put it into action this is an action card. You're getting messages and they're, they want to help you. This is your life's purpose is to harness the messages that you're receiving and put it into action. That's easier said than done. And I say that from someone who doesn't always listen to spirit and put it into action. I know. I just, I, I just don't, I don't know why. I mean, sometimes like it, it's even just simple things. Like I know I need to have a conversation with someone. I know that I need to be the one to have the conversation and then I allow someone else to do it. And it puts me in a really bad situation. So listen to the messages from spirit, have your tough conversations. <laughs> Even if it's with yourself, like, you know, spirit said we need to do this. We really need to get on it. Okay. Sometimes I talk to myself and make myself the plural. Okay. <laughs> okay, Taurus. Oh my gosh. I don't even know why I'm here. I mean, the cards are just doing everything. It's great. Okay. On top of the Empress, we have the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Absolutely. When you're in that place of growth, when you're in that place of reaping the rewards of what the, you know, everything that's coming into fruit, all the things that you planted that are actually coming into action, enjoy the success and happiness. This is something that you've learned, but when you come back around to this Taurus and you will, when you come back around to this lesson, that's similar, but different. When you come back around to this, enjoy the success and happiness that when you have it, I mean, life is a roller coaster. Everything goes up, up and down. We all have ebbs and flows. Enjoy it when it comes around. Hey, it may stick around then, right? Don't be afraid of it. Don't have fear around the abundance in your life. You're the one that's bringing it in. Don't have fear around that. Hmm. Okay. On the tower card, what you are currently learning is the spirit fox. Trust your talents in changing times. That's a big change. That's a big change. The tower is a big change. 
it's a lot of disruption, but it's change that needs to happen. Trust your talents, trust your gifts, that you have what it takes to get through this change, that you have what it takes and what's needed during this time of change. Just love it. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Okay, on top of the full card, what what you what steps you need to take right now is bask in joy and light summer. Basking in joy and light does take a lot of faith. That takes a leap of faith and it takes a lot of trust because when you're sitting back and you're just going, oh my gosh, what the hell is happening? All this is happening. All this is happening. And spirit is asking you to take a leap of faith. You need to find light in that situation, right? You need to find joy in taking that, that leap of faith and joy in that trust. It's not easy. I am saying this like this is the easiest thing that's ever been done, but it's not. It's not. I mean, this isn't a Pollyanna reading, but I think it's a fantastic reading. I really do. Okay. On top of the three of swords in how you can best help others. As I said about the three of swords, that you are helping people create that thread to stitch themselves back together helping them get that frustration out so that they can heal. And we've got the trader exchange energy to create abundance. That's an energy exchange there, Taurus. It is. That's an energy exchange because what you're helping people to do is replace their anger, their frustration, their heartbreak with healing energy, putting themselves back together. That is an energy exchange. And believe me, you get something out of it too. Okay, and on the page of swords, your life's purpose. The oracle, wait for important information. But not just wait for it, Taurus. Receive it. Make sure you are receiving. You hear it, but are you receiving the information that is coming into you? And you know, that's funny because I just said that to my son just a couple of days ago, who is a Taurus. I was like, I know you hear me, but are you receiving it? Well, okay. I say that to him all the time. I say it to him almost on a daily basis, but it's funny because you do need to wait for that information to come in. Wait from that guidance for spirit from spirit. They're giving it to you. You have to be open to receiving it. I love that. I love it. This is phenomenal. This is really phenomenal, Taurus. I feel like you are, I I feel like this, what you're experiencing past right now, what you need to do about it is definitely a place of growth. It's definitely a place of growth. And it doesn't surprise me that this is coming in in 2023 because 2023 is a seven year and that is about spiritual expansion and spiritual growth. And believe me, you help other people to do this. You can do it for yourself as well. You know, it's like that thing, physician heal thyself. Well, Taurus, apply this to yourself. Apply your advice to your own life. hummingbird pure joy okay I like that Taurus
Master Buddha increased awareness. Yep. This is a spiritual growth. And spiritual growth is not pretty. Everybody's like, oh, it's spiritual growth. That's so lovely. No, not necessarily. Spiritual growth is a challenging thing. Or it's challenging times, really. Right. Myrrh. I love myrrh. Yep. I have a whole box of it right here. <clears throat> okay. It's those little cones. You know, those little incense cones. Love them. Okay. Glasses. All right. The first advice card from the animal deck is the hummingbird. Pure joy. Draw life's essence from the flowers to make healing medicine for yourself. Mm. That brings pure joy. Hummingbird's wing patterns is the infinity symbol. It can fly from the past to the future. Seeing life is rich from all sides. It is equal to the number two, your inner self, which represents feminine birth, and creativity to help you find your own joy. Ah, take a leap of faith. Okay. Um, Master Buddha increased awareness. Deep connections. Trust your inner voice. Yep. You need to listen to your intuition. And the last advice card is the essential oil card, and it is the myrrh. Myrrh essential oil. The emotional aspects of myrrh. It releases absence of maternal connection, feeling unsafe. Now, it may not be exactly maternal connection, but it could be absence of like a nurturing connection. It instills a sense of feeling nurtured. Ha 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 safe and protected yeah it creates a sense of safety security and trust a sense of connection to the abundance of the earth and her capacity to provide for us the centering thought i am safe i know who i am i am connected to the healing power of mother earth the affirmation why is it so easy to feel safe and connected and the chakra is the root chakra. Feeling safe, especially if you're going through this upheaval, this disconnection right now. Disconnection, disruption, however you want to call it. Especially if you're going through that right now, you may need that nurturing feeling. And this, and this connection and nurturing. Wow. Well, Taurus, I love this. This is awesome. This is awesome for you. Again, it may not seem like the happiest reading, but I really think it's great. I think you going through some trying times right now, this is spiritual growth. Step in and tap into your talents. Step in and tap into your gifts right now. This is going to help you get through it. Take a leap of faith. Trust. Thank you so much for joining me today, uh, Taras. Thank you so much for supporting me on my new channel. I look forward to reading for you all through 2023. So um, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can uh, keep you updated when I go live or when I have other videos that gets posted. Yeah. And come on. I'm so much fun. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me. Um, thank you for letting me read for you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope you have a very happy new year. And until I see you again, Taurus, get out there and make your magic. Bye.